So, Paul McGrath, thank you very much for, for joining us today here in Enniscorthy, kind of your hometown. Um, yeah, it is now, I would say. Yeah, I've been down here, I think, about uh, 12 years. Yeah. So it's good, Jim. And you live by yourself. That's um, a deliberate choice, yeah? Yeah. Um, I've always been a little nervous around people and, and um, you know, so for me to, to uh, I want to live on my own is, is uh, it might be strange to some people, but uh, I've always kind of, uh, you know, want, wanted to be on my own, you know, even as a young man growing up and stuff like that, I've, I've, I've it's not that I prefer my own company or anything like that, but I grew up in, in a strange time, I think, that, uh, um, probably the place that I grew up, the orphanage that I grew up in, um, it was better to be on your own because you didn't have to interact with certain people and or, or um, uh, converse with them. You know what I mean? You, 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 you know, if you got into any trouble, that you, you, you were um, there was uh, there's one or two people that used to make uh, your like diffi- your life difficult for you. So that was something. I think that, that that's probably just kept going on in my life that I'd rather now not not interact too much with people who are who who I would perceive to be probably a little dangerous to me. And I guess this process of um having these talks with, with different people it's the purpose I guess around it is to show people that there is hope particularly here in stories like that of yourself where you know you face challenge and adversity and you're dealing with it you've dealt with it and then you get more stuff thrown at you and you deal with it and it occurs to me just as I asked you that question you live on your own in my mind the question was are your friends worried about you living on your own oh um I'd say quite a few of them would be but I think they know that um I, I kind of handle it in a certain situation, and they've got so used to it now. I think that Paul, they, they'd probably think, be thinking Paul's gone off the deep end um, again, and what can we do to help? I, and I, I've, I've friends, I've a lot of friends back in England as well, all around Ireland that 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 always ring America as well, and and they're always saying, "How are you doing? Are you well? Are you are you, are you coping well?" And I give them the, the usual yeah. guff that I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm doing great, I'm loving it, everything's going perfectly. And they would know straight away whether things are good or bad, because living in your, on my own and stuff like that, I tend to, um, you know, just close the gates and not, um, that was the reason I bought the gates, was so that, because people seem to be coming up and want one or two things, and, and so, uh, and, and it feels safe for me in there, it feels safe. And it's, it's funny asking that question in a way because I live by myself mm. and I've never reflected on that ever <laughs> until I asked you the question. And I also have a gate and it's a small little gate, like you can hop over it, but the gates get closed when I'm not feeling well. You could build a bigger gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, no. I found when, when I put the, and I, that's the reason I did actually put the gates on because people were just knocking just yeah. to say hello, like, because I love, and the funny thing is when I go to supermarkets and stuff like that, I love chatting to people. I love shaking people's hands and, you know, talking about um, 1994 or when, whenever, whenever and, and just seeing in all, it's usually older per people, older men that just say, you know, thanks for that day just for one day, like, you know, and there's tears in their eyes and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm kind of shocked by that. The putting up the gates was kind of a, a, um, a symbolic thing for me, that, that I was shut off, I was then shut off from the, from the world. No one can get to me, because the bells that are outside my house, uh, if you ring them and stuff like that, I don't hear them in the house, because I, I had them cut off as well, so. Yeah. So no one usually comes to my house unless they ring beforehand and, and uh, I know they're coming. Um, so it's a way of, you know, insulating yourself from, from everyone, which is not a good thing to do, I don't, I don't think. And I sometimes feel myself dropping back into it where I don't go out for probably, you know, seven or ten days or something like that. And then I get a bit worried about myself that I'm, I'm dropping into something that uh, is a little bit scary for me, I think. And 
with, I'm very conscious that everybody's got their own mental health and everybody deals with it in their own way. And anybody who ever asked me about you know, mental health in general, I can only answer about me. Mm. But with me, I know that there's signs. So when I'm beginning to, as you said there, dip down into a place or drop down into a place, there are signs. And for me, I'm a clean freak, right? So when I see that the place gets a bit messy and I haven't noticed it get messy or smells like things smell different for me when I'm not feeling well or when I'm beginning to, do you have signs? There's, are there things you spot when you're beginning to dip? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd find that, that I'm, because I'm, I watch an, an awful lot of TV, a lot, a lot, an awful lot of it's sport, but I do watch TV, random things on TV. I like quizzes and stuff like that, but sometimes I'd be just watching something on TV and I get a bit, you might get a bit uh, tearful or something like that. And I say to myself, and, and I, I usually catch myself with that sort of stuff and I go, now why, why the hell did I suddenly feel bad about that? It might be something on the news or something. And, and I try mentally in my own head to say, right, now you know what just happened there. You've just you've got a little bit depressed there. So it's gone now, it's finished. You might switch the TV over, you know, change channel just to say, well, you caught that, you're brilliant. You're doing well now you're, because you've caught that uh, little bit of a depression you were going into and you're, you're okay now. But uh, I don't think you'd be okay just because you, you've, you know, hopped out of it probably as quick as you went into it. But uh, that, that'd be a worry for me because, you know, I don't, I don't like it when it happens. People were grabbing onto me and trying to hold me back and stuff like that. But, uh, but that's something that as a five-year-old I can remember as if it was yesterday. Mm -hmm.